welcome to the Hacienda. Rivet here. Good to see you again. Thanks for coming back. Today we're going to make something a little bit different, a little bit on the easy side. Uh, we're going to do a twist on Mrs. Rivet's oven fried uh, chicken livers in that uh, we're going to use a pre-made package for breading. We've got the original Hooters wing breading and it says here try it on shrimp, fish, veggies and more. So we're going to do the and more and we're going to uh, coat these uh, Tyson chicken livers and uh, once they're nice and coated uh, we're going to put them on a pan uh, lightly coated with canola oil and we're going to oven roast them and then we're going to taste them and see how they taste like so stick with me and I'll show you how it's done so here we have the one pound of uh, Hooters mix in a two gallon hefty bag now let's add the uh, livers so we got them all bagged up nicely now let's go ahead and uh, close the uh, ziplock and shake them up and get them coated right so here they are in a uh, turkey roaster and um, with a little bit of canola oil at the bottom so let's go ahead and put them in a 400 degree oven for 45 minutes then we'll check them out all right so 25 minutes in they're looking good now we're going to shoot the top with a cooking spray canola oil cooking spray that way we don't have to mess around with flipping them over all right back in the oven they go okay 45 minutes in 46 47 um, they are looking fantastic and smelling even better. Oh my, look at this. I can't wait to try them. Let's let them cool off for a little bit and then we'll check them out. All right, so here we got the uh, delicious chicken livers uh, nicely roasted in a pan. Let's go ahead and try them. Oh my God, they smell absolutely delicious. So let's put a couple on a plate and let's check them out. See what they're like. Hooters chicken livers. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh my. Mmm. Crunchy. Spicy. Mild spicy. Goes very good with the liver flavor. If you like livers, this is great. Um. There's some paprika in there. I can taste it. Some black pepper. It's good. It's a lot milder than I expected. But I like it. If you don't want to mix your uh, your own flour mixture when you're going to make this, definitely the way to go. This is good stuff. And for $2.44 for an entire pound, yeah, I'd buy it again. But anyway, thanks for watching, people. This stuff is delicious. Take care. Bye-bye. And if you like this, you can follow me. So let's go. Follow me.